Dr. Sophia Jalili, and this is Self Esteem Video Magazine. Tony Clark, CEO of Esteem Medical Devices, is our guest today. He is here to discuss the recently published results of Stanford University's clinical trial of the nipple guard. The university's plastic and reconstructive surgery division's research team was comprised of James Rosing, Arash Momeni, Kathy Kamerman, David Kahn, Jeffrey Gertner, and Gordon Lee. No members of the team received compensation for the study. The article that appears in the Journal of Plastic Reconstructive and Aesthetic Surgery, the Stanford researchers reported that I quote, statistically significant difference with regards to improved nipple projection was observed in the group treated with the nipple guard, which we now have adopted into our routine practice. The use of the nipple guard clearly defines a new post-operative standard of care for patients following nipple reconstruction surgery. Tony, before we dive into the results of the study, please take a few moments to describe the nipple guard for those in the audience who may be unfamiliar with the device. Thanks, Sophia. I'd be happy to do so. The nipple guard is a reinforced bandage used after nipple reconstruction or inverted nipple surgery to help protect the nipple from both compression and serum forces and from scar tissue contraction within and surrounding the nipple. This protects the nipple against flattening, which is common after surgery, and allows the nipple to heal in an upright position, helping to preserve the overall projection of the nipple. As you can see, the nipple guard has a protective inner core, which cradles an inserted nipple, and again protects the nipple against pressing forces, such as those that might occur while giving a hug or while sleeping. To use a nipple guard, a patient would, as illustrated in the following figures, unfold and remove the liners from all four tabs of the device, position the nipple in the opening at the bottom of the nipple guard so that the nipple is centered in and is completely covered by the device. Note that during this positioning step, care should be taken to ensure that no portion of the nipple guard is squeezing the inserted nipple. And finally, all four tabs of the device are attached to the breast to secure the nipple guard in place. So in summary, the nipple guard is a protective reinforced bandage that is used after nipple reconstruction and inverted nipple repair surgery to improve the expected long-term surgical outcome. Thanks for that overview. Let's now turn our attention back to the Stanford University trial. What was the objective of the testing? The Stanford study evaluates the effectiveness of the esteemed nipple guard in preserving uh, nipple projection when used as a post-operative dressing following nipple reconstruction surgery. So Tony, what were the ages of the participants? The patients range in age from 43 years old to 61 years old. Okay. So what methodology was used? In other words, how were the tests performed? Each patient was randomly assigned to either the experimental group or the control group. The patients in the experimental group used the nipple guard following their surgery. The patients in the control group did not use the nipple guard. For both groups, nipple projection and diameter were measured immediately following surgery at one week, four weeks, eight weeks, and then again at six months following their surgery. The measurements were used to compare the nipple projection for patients in the experimental group to the measurements of those patients in the control group. Basically, how were patients in the experimental group instructed to use the nipple guard during the testing? The Stanford researchers instructed the patients to use the device for a total of six weeks following their respective surgeries. Patients were told to wear the device for 24 hours each day and were told to change the device daily. 22 patients participated in the study. 40% of the patients received bilateral nipple reconstructions. So there were a total of 15 reconstructed nipples in both the experimental group and the control group for a total of 30 nipples. What surgical techniques were used by the plastic surgeons participating in the Stanford University trial? Three plastic surgeons performed the nipple reconstruction procedures. They utilized one of the following techniques for each patient. The modified skate or CV flap, the double opposing tabs technique, or the bow tie procedure. Okay, let's move on to the results. 
Though infrequently discussed, it is well known by plastic surgeons that the long-term prognosis for a reconstructed nipple is that it will substantially flatten over time. Not surprisingly, this is a major source of patient dissatisfaction and is a negative contributing factor to self-esteem. A key point from the Stanford study is the quantified amount of nipple flattening that patients who did not use a nipple guard postoperatively experienced. With that in mind, please characterize the test results for the control group. Okay, the patients that did not use the nipple guard postoperatively, on average, experienced an 80% loss in nipple projection six months after their surgery. To put that in perspective, a reconstructed nipple measuring three quarters of an inch tall at the time of surgery would shrink to 0.15 inches in height, essentially flat, in less than six months after the surgery. How does that compare to the results observed for the experimental group, those patients that use the nipple guard? In comparison, the participants that used the nipple guard saw much less shrinkage. If I go back to the previous example of a reconstructed nipple measuring three quarters of an inch tall at the time of surgery, then for the nipple guard users, their nipples would measure approximately 7 sixteenths of an inch at the half year point, a vast improvement over the results for the control group participants. Again, the control group participants, their nipples reduced to on average 0.15 inches, and for those participants that use the nipple guard, their nipples would have uh, been measuring close to a half an inch at the six month point. Quite a difference. Thank you for that, Tony. The results of the Stanford University clinical trial of the esteemed nipple guard quantitatively demonstrates the effectiveness of the device when used after nipple reconstruction surgery. Consequently, the Stanford University plastic surgeons have adopted the nipple guard for routine use, defining the nipple guard as a post-operative standard of care for nipple reconstruction surgery. Before signing off, I would like to again thank our guest, Tony Clark. I'm Dr. Sophia Jalili. We hope that you found the information in this article of Self-Esteem Video Magazine actionable and hope that you will join us in the future. Thank you.